They got the literature club. Welcome to the club, Airy. It's nice meeting you. I love sucking lemons. Hello, hello, humans. Good to see you all once again. It is your favorite color surfing DJ, Sir J Spec, back with yet another spectacular stream. Let's go ahead and continue with Until Then. Dang. Dang it, Kath. You didn't have to pull me into this. Hmm, okay. Well, that was the end of chapter one, so at least I, I haven't been paying attention, but at least they have, uh, what's this? They have indicators when the chapters begin and end, so that's a, that's good for me. That's good for me. That'll be good for, like, highlight video purposes. I know, man, I know. Look at the bags under his eyes. Oh my goodness. You're gonna go now, Luna Sige. You take care. Thanks for hanging out. New part. Yeah, don't be watching. Early in the morning. Let's see. Hey, exam results are out. Can't wait to see which ones I flopped. Chemistry. Okay. 29 out of 50, probably Mark. Kyle! Wait, am I not flopping this one? 50. Luis, wishful thinking. Mark, 35 out of 50. Okay, nice, but which did I flop this time? Math. Uh. Kyle, still. How dare I underestimate my intelligence? <laughs> Luis, again, when pigs fly, Mark, when pigs fly. Huh. 36 out of 50. Too good to be true. Nice. Filipino. Oh, God. Not me. All right. So probably 36 for him. It's over 30. Nice. Whenever we get test scores of like 50, like in 50 total, usually I would be celebrating if it was like 30 plus. Especially in my case, if it was in Filipino class, holy cow, if I get more than 30, I am, I would be, ha I would die happy, my goodness. English, okay. Let's see, 36, probably Mark, he's middling. Whoa, is this really mine? Yes. And history. Uh, probably here. Charles, almost there. Ryan, not mine and never will be. Mark. Did I just really think I could ace this? Alright, so he's the lowest one this time. Cool, but where's the one that's below 30? Alright. Art class? Ah, there it is. How could you flunk art class, Mark? What the heck? 13 out of 50? Okay. Of course, couldn't go without a flunk-worthy score. Guess I better make up to Miss Flores. Yeah, not bad. Nah, that's just a fluke. Wait, what was that? Oh. Oh, the pian- the pian- the pi pianist audition. Dude, why is it so early in the morning that he has to be there? Dude hasn't even gotten any sleep. Yes. Go ahead and play, Mark. Do your thing. Wrong. Imagination. Yes. Oh, the memories are flooding in. Who is that? The notes. They're lost in this hazy memory. I have to rearrange them. Whoops. 
No, that's not how I remember it. Try to remember, please. Let the music flow through you, Mark. Feel its rhythm. You can do it. I believe in you. Your lie in April. <laughs> I'm sorry, I really can't think of it. She's such a lovely, talented kid. Do you like it? Who is this lady? Hmm. Hmm. Many, many mysteries coming in. Is it like another memory or maybe a past life of his? Ah, oh, it's, it's wrong again. Focus. Concentrate. <laughs> oh, she's gonna take a picture. I can feel it. Oh, she's just gonna scare him. Put her hands on his. Yes, I knew it! I knew it. Go ahead. <laughs> what the hell? Going all in on this piano thing, huh? Thought you might want to tone it down. If you don't want to look like a possessed idiot. You didn't have to do that. God, you nearly gave me a heart attack. Poor guy. Just you wait, Kath. I'm telling you. Just look at those sunken eyes. You absolutely needed that energy surge. And whose fault do you think that is? Well, well. Don't you accuse me of your own wrongdoing. I told you we'd go early today, and still... You chose to sleep late over some lame-ass MMO. But who's the one responsible for dragging me into this stupid plan? Huh, right. I wonder who... Don't you... Hey, look! You still haven't answered my question. The results are out. <laughs> Ignored. Aw. <sighs> hmm, let's see. Just get enough next sleep next time, please. God knows what other creepy shit you'd be doing alone. Ugh, I was. Forget it. Anyone will be here any moment now, then they'll be like, Whoa, Mark! Is that you? This early? <sighs> Looks like you need another scare to wake you up. I got a 13 on art. A third scare would just be overkill. Hmm, are you sure? I'm wide awake now. Don't you... He took the wrong test paper. Worry. If you say so. <clears throat> what you got there? Well... Wow, good scores, Kathy. Nice. It's decent. What do you mean, decent? It's like line of four. Goodness gracious. Nothing surprising. Your definition of decent is what's surprising here. Well, unlike you, my bar is higher. To be fair, my bar, bar is higher than yours. Mine's just upside down. <laughs> Well, I guess they... I can live with this. What? What do you mean by that? What? Live with? Are you... Oh, I get it. 
We're playing the humble game. Oh. Aren't we? Huh? Well, Kath, look at these. What do you think of my disgraceful scores? Eh, let me guess. The usual 30 to 34s, barely passing. Maybe you got lucky this time and got a 36? <clears throat> I said... Look at my scores. Fine. What? 30? 30 what? Huh, you saw that, right? Humbly, I did get a 36. What have you done? Were you sitting next to Luis? Did you just cheat? I would never. I'd never commit such a crime. I'd, unfortunately, finally tried my hand at actual studying. How did you study? When? I don't mean to brag, but... I just took two good hours of studying without distraction. All just a day before the exams. Aw, oh, yeah. If anyone in chat is still here, Anybody who ch who studies like hours before, a, like a day before the exams, you know what I did one in my very last day of exams in college, right before I would graduate. I've studied for my philosophy exam hours before the exam. <laughs> Don't do that. That's very very bad. Trust me. No biggie. Shit, man. Remember what I told you last time? About that sleeping genius in my noggin? Yeah. And just like that, like a phoenix rising from the ashes, it has awakened from its eternal slumber. That's it. Playtime's over. This is a fluke. Teachers were forgiving. Exams were just too easy. No, they weren't. Period. Hell no. I'd argue it wasn't easy at all. Oh, really? Yeah. It was... Oh, more people are coming in. Speaking of flukes, this stupid plan actually worked. Shh. Not yet. Lie low and keep it down. What is this plan that they're talking about? Remember, we have to establish a strong connection with the target. With the new student, I believe. Probably that's her. Because she has a different color uniform. Everyone is wearing green. I think she was wearing purple. You weren't kidding. New students do come in early. Yup, I was right. <coughs> See, Cat Katie. Newbies like her would want to attract attention. So they can mingle as much as they can before classes start. Are you... And you really think that... Being her first new friend is worth sleeping early for? That's correct. You get higher chances of winning her heart. <laughs> yeah, priorities, Kath. I read that online, by the way. So why the heck did I get dragged into this if it's just about you? Duh. Because you're the backup plan. Wait, what? That wasn't part of the plan. Shh, quiet. Now what? So much for they want to attract attention and mingle. Trust me. She might be a meek one. I've seen this kind before. Quiet as a mouse. But once you get to know her, well, you'd be surprised. We'll see about that. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> oh my, she's pretty. Did you see that? Yeah. And I can also see where this is headed. I know, right? We'll get together and become good friends. 
Then I'll ask her on a date. Then we'll watch the stars. Then do whatever they do in the movies. Hate to break it to you, but this isn't Hollywood. It's now or never, man. Here I go. Great. Hey there. Kate, right? She's not paying attention. <clears throat> Off to a great start. Uh, I'm Catherine Joyce. But you can just call me Kath. I'm the friendliest one you'll ever meet here. As you can probably tell. Being ignored. Your name's Kate, right? It kind of sounds like mine, you know. What a coincidence! <laughs> I'm sure that means we'll be good friends. She's putting her hand down. Ah, yes, I know that feeling, my friend. She's sweating. <laughs> Sucks transferring to a new school, I know. You'll get used to it for sure. We're all nice around here. Especially me. No wonder you haven't had a girlfriend yet. <laughs> Zero riz. <laughs> Friendship task failed. But then, I'm one to talk. So, uh, welcome to Liamson Integrated School. This is Class 9 Pearl. Kath at your service. Uh, you must be the silent type, huh? Oh. I'm the polar opposite of the silent type if you keep talking. Oh! Oh, don't mess with her. So it would be very nice of you if you keep that mouth shut. Thank you. I... but I... I said thank you, didn't I? Yes. <laughs> so? Welcome to Hollywood, eh? <laughs> What's the problem? Cat got your tongue? Or should I say... Kate got your tongue? <laughs> you dickhead! <laughs> ah, yes. That shitty joke did not help at all. Goodness. Classic Sundere moment, my goodness. I've been stripped of all my dignity. Didn't you see? I did. And it was fun. Well, let's see who's laughing now. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> teka, teka, teka. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, they love this is so much fun seeing it, dang. I told you. You're the backup plan. Who said anything about that? Just face it. Now go and talk to her. Oh, it's gonna be fun. It's not like I have any dignity to lose anyways. Uh... Sorry for the commotion back there. <clears throat> Excuse me. That was just my friend who's, uh... Too friendly. She's just like that sometimes. Oh, she's gonna do it! She's gonna... She's hitting the table again! Look. I don't want to meddle in your affairs. But let's just let's just be nice. I just hope you have a good time here. And you feel at home, classmate. As expected, I'm talking to a wall. This is pointless. I'm out. Wait. Huh? Oh! Getting a reaction. Go ahead. You're free to make a comeback. Did someone tell you? 
Uh, tell me what? About the... The... Never mind. About the what? There, there are so many secrets not being told here. <clears throat> about the other classmate, I suppose? Uh, want to talk about it? No. You may leave now. But we just talked. Kind of. I'm not fond of all this yapping. Okay. Name's Kate. If that helps, shut your mouth. Uh, I'm Mark. Nice to meet you. I guess. Quiet as death. And that's our new classmate, folks. Hooray. Mm. Man, I don't know what hap just happened back there. But that ain't fair. I'm the social butterfly here. Not you. I'd think twice about that title if I were you. But... But just how? She even introduced herself. If you could even call it that. <sighs> now that this mission has failed, would you please let me take a nap? Whoa, Mark! <laughs> nope! No napping yet. Is that you? This early? Put a sock in it, Ryan. Hey, dude, that must be... Katrina, right? What's up, Katrina? Oh, no reaction. Ah, <sighs> uh, she's still feeling it. Whoa, you too, Kath? Dude, why'd you come, guys come in so early? <laughs> she is gone. <laughs> Kath is just gone. Kath? Hello? Yo? Kath got your tongue! <laughs> ah, shut up! <laughs> it was too much to resist. Wake up, sleepyhead. It's lunchtime. Lunchtime? They didn't even wake you up for morning class? Don't you want to play air piano again? <laughs> Finally. Rise and shine. Just how much sleep did you get? One measly hour? Make it too. It's a good thing you got lucky today, Jun Jun. What? You slept through cle three classes in a row. Dang. You know, just like Jun Jun over there. He's having a co He's just gone. I did what? Why didn't anyone wake me up? Well... We tried, but it was no use. You were in a deep sleep. Oi, 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 oi. And we couldn't get the sleeping beauty up. <laughs> and no one wanted to kiss you. <laughs> so yeah. What did the teacher say? They didn't want to kiss you either. <laughs> I'm sorry. Am I kissing my grades goodbye? That's where you got lucky, man. They didn't give a damn. At least for now. <clears throat> what a relief. I swear, just one more warning from Mr. Alfonso. And I'm out of here. He was in a surprisingly good mood. They say he got his ex-girlfriend back. Wow, okay. I su Well, that's good for him then, I guess. Good for him. What about Mrs. Flores? What are you talking about? Art's after lunch break. Hey, speaking of... 
What did you paint? Mm. Oh no, he forgot the homework again. Paint what? You know, for our poster project. Oh no. <laughs> he forgot again. It's time to cram again. You already flunked, boy. What you gonna do? Shit. Shit is right, bro. I know it's so cliche, but man, I did it all on my own. And I'm so proud of it. <clears throat> what do you think? I think... I think I'm in trouble. There's no way. Cramming this is flat out impossible. I have to or I'm getting kicked out for real. Say, how many minutes do I have left? Seven minutes. Seven minutes to paint. Are you crazy? I've always been. I know you cram. But this is just insanity. Hey! Wow, okay. Time to start cramming, bro. Ride like the wind! Gotta dash my way to the supply store. I can do this. Run, run, run as fast as you can. The flash! Yes, Digi. Takbo. Dodge left! No! Our precious tree! I wasn't paying attention. Okay, hold on. Precious tree! Sorry, my bad. Okay, here we go. What are we gonna be dodging next? Swerve. Oh, no! I swerve! Dang it. I hate life. I hate it too. You know it. Okay, hold on. I'm going to paint something so avant-garde and pretentious, it'll knock Flores' socks off. Let's go. We moving. We moving. Ride like the wind, Marky. Slide over. Woo! We finally did it. Hey, no running in the halls. It's an emergency. Aha, I got it. I'll just splash paint around. And just like that, I'm the next Pollock. <laughs> Modern art. My goodness. All right, let's do this. We got more dodging. Slow down. No! My quarter pounder. I'll get you a one pounder. Dang, four patties. Supply store. Target lock, baby, please. Open. Open the store. Keep the store open. Lunch break. Lunch break. My goodness, he's gonna take a lunch break. He's not. He's gonna leave. We're almost there. Uh oh. What are you doing out here? Oh, it's Luis. Leap? No, it's the new student. No. We're gonna leap. Oh no! Out of all the numbers from zero to fifty, I got a score of thirteen. And you're gonna get a zero. Hitting people. Ouch! Could this day get any worse? Hey, Mark. Hey. Billy, my guy. What's up? What's the last minute rush today? Need anything? Marker pen, printing, Xerox. I did need something, but I don't think. I don't think I'm in good shape to cram now. That girl is in good shape as well, it seems. Oh no! The transfer student. Okay, we gotta help her up. Oh no, that's not good. She doesn't look happy at all. Mm. It's a Splatoon moment, my goodness. You! You monster! I don't need your hand. 
I have two and I can stand on my own, okay? Hey, I... Uh... Oh, deja vu! What? Oh, she's getting it too! What's your deal? Sorry. Sorry, but I didn't mean to. Didn't mean to ruin someone's first day in the school? Okay, sure. Thanks, I guess. To be fair, you were blocking the halls. Wow, dude, you're not supposed to be saying that. Right in the middle. Even if you're right. Wow. So are we just totally ignoring the fact that someone was ruthlessly barreling through the halls? I know. But sorry, you're in the wrong too. <laughs> I lost my consciousness for a moment there. You almost killed me, for Pete's sake. Hey, I'm... Ow! <laughs> Dang. Look at this mess. Look at me. I'm a mess. This is... I was so excited to... To start a brand new life here. Oh. And you're just gonna gonna mess it up like that? What am I supposed to do? Oh, she is losing it. Whatever. I never want to see your face again. Oh, God. Great. Miss Flores. Both of you. Principal's office. Now. Aw, oh, nuts. Okay, it's not her, but still, teacher. Fortunately, we have extra uniforms for students. You ought to return them next week. You understand? You, do you two realize the consequences of your misbehavior? Let this day teach you a well-deserved lesson. Scary. You will stay here until dismissal. I've called the principal. She'll be here in a few hours. Hours? Wow, okay. Wait a second. Have I seen your face here before? Who, me? No, the girl. Wait, really? To Mark? Yes. You've already... I have no idea. Well, I have no idea what you mean, Miss Legaspi. I knew it. Just how many warnings do you have left before you get expelled? I don't know. I'm invincible? <laughs> what an attitude. Hey, uh, candy? You want one? No. Mint? <laughs> Fruit? <laughs> What was I thinking? Candy won't be enough to tame the beast. There's gotta be something in here. Hmm, let's see. And she's, re she's really turning away from when I walk. Wow, okay. Nice. Oh, they've got... They actually got the, <laughs> the spoon and the fork. Ding Dong Chavez. Bruno John Chavez. Rose Maria Ann Chavez, my goodness. Batch Valedictorians, the Chavez family, my goodness. Let's see, what else have we got here? Principal's room, obviously. Why is the principal's office so fancy? But then again, back in high school, my principal's office had was pretty fancy too. Although they did not have any of these, like... Uh, what's this? These bladeless electric fan co coolers. Let's see, what else can we investigate here? Let's give her a taste of fancy schmancy coffee. That'll lift her spirits up. Hi, welcome to Starbonks. What can I get for you? You know, they've got a coffee maker with a grinder here. Top of the line gear. She doesn't want coffee, might spill on her. They got Arabic beans too or whatever. 
cream of the crop. You know, you won't find this anywhere else. It's Arabica, you jerk. Hey! Now we're talking. So you want a cup of Arabica? This is the best coffee you'll ever have, I promise. My hipster friend would kill for this. I'll take that as a yes. Wow, first try. Already got getting a reaction. Smells so good, doesn't it? Just stay here, having a cup of brew. Nearly done. I know you can't wait. Please don't spill it. It's gonna be another cliche. One cup for you. And one cup for me. Mm -mm. It never disappoints. Don't let that specialty go to waste. You don't always get a chance to taste overpriced tuition. <laughs> That's where it all goes. Come on, before it gets cold. Maybe she'd rather have iced coffee. What's this chair thing do? Rest your legs? Footstool? Oh, no. He's speaking of something else. Greetings, my fellow Liam. What the heck? Liam Sonians. He's not using the radio. Ah, it's just the c camera. I just want to announce that. You can never get rid of me. <laughs> Rock on, dude. I keep this school running with my pockets as deep as the Marianas. No matter how many times you detain, warn, or punish me, you won't ever have the balls to let me go. I may not be a genius or a dreamer, but I've got a uh, epic bangs. <laughs> yes, you do, Mark. Yes, you do. <laughs> oh, she's laughing. That's all for my beloved school. Thank you for your attention. Too bad security cams don't record audio. What an audience! I'd at least appreciate a round of applause here. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's see what else we got here. Turn on the fan. Let's see. Woo! Whoa, this one's new. I haven't seen this before. Would you look at this bad boy? Ooh, yeah, I love to do that in real life. Put your hand in there. Hey, look! It's not severing my arm! Just amazing what overpriced tuition can buy. Oh, she's yawning. Apparently, bladeless fans are unexciting. True. Let's see what we got here. What's in there here? Art supplies? Most competitive... I see. It all went downhill from here. 2010, 2000... Best school... Best school in... Okay, at 2008, most competitive 2010, most competitive 2011. All right, and then what's this? He's gonna play with the uh, utensils, isn't he? Watch this. Useless but fun fact. Our lavish principal has three cars. Why are you leaving your car keys right in the principal's office where the students could get it? A pickup? A sedan and an SUV. Why? What you just heard was the SUV. I love it. It has the best beep. Mark, why do you know this? Not interesting enough for her. Chavez. Chavez peeps. What are you going to do? <laughs> you will have to guide me. I wouldn't be surprised if Junjun Jun takes the gold medal home too. Ah, so Junjun Jun Chavez is his name, perhaps. I've tried everything now. Forget it. This is useless. Wait, not useless, really. Well, there doesn't seem to be any other options, though. So we'll just have to go back. Mr. Jun, yes. Dang it. <clears throat> 
Okay, pack it up, bro. Give up. Yes. Get back to seeding. I give up. <sighs> I did all I could possibly do. Why are you speaking it out loud? Nothing could make you speak. Besides stupid Arabic beans. Two nine nine two thousand nine hundred ninety five, two thousand nine hundred ninety six, two thousand nine hundred ninety seven, two thousand nine hundred ninety eight, two thousand nine hundred ninety nine, three thousand. Yep, nice and quiet. Keep on counting, Mark. She ain't gonna talk. Nothing but. Oh, wow. Would you look at the time? It appears we have three more exciting hours left. Imprisoned here with nothing to do. Except, you know, socialize like humans do. If we would just all cooperate. Oh my gosh. You do not deserve my cooperation. Finally! Thank God. But after all I've done to cheer you up? Oh, I'm sorry. After what you have done? Either way, try harder. But I'm sure you'd die trying. You haven't even taken a sip of my coffee yet. That'd surely calm your nerves, miss. Mister, you're dodging the real issue here. You're just wasting my time. I told you. You were literally taking up half the width of the hallway. Even worse, right in the middle. And you were running. Read the handbook, section 7.4. Wow, okay, she took the time. I never read the handbook. I'm surprised a novice like me knows more than a supposed veteran. Whoa. Look who's so gung-ho about transferring. She knows the handbook like the back of her hand. Why, thank you. Oh, the sly smile. That's what the back of my hand is for. The front is for, you know, dealing with you just in case. If you didn't know, normal people would do their business at the side to make way for others. But I guess some people simply aren't part of that population. Sir, have you ever heard of speed limits? I think someone here could take a page from traffic etiquette. Getting this show on the road, huh? Well... Ever heard of middle lane hogging? Go ahead. Take a page. <laughs> oh my. Get this show on the road? Did you just use an Id idiom literally? How cheesy. Actually, that was a double entendre. Why are you saying that? Mark, what the heck? Wait long. I used the idiom both literally and as intended. Too bad my ingenuity went over your head. I wish ingenuity were an antonym for genius right now. Running out of fuel? Because that was lame. <laughs> Admit it. Your car has crashed. Is it my fault your car crashed into mine? Flat tire. Huh? What's that even supposed to mean? I said, you're a flat tire. What kind of statement is that? What? Mm. Oh, you monster. Oh, you. You really want to get it, do you? I'd be flat tire. <laughs> You dirty sicko! Oh! Just in time. Ugh. 
I'll talk to you later. Oh, she fancy. Good afternoon, um, Miss Chavez. Oh! Those are her kids? The valedictorians? All right, yeah, Junjun is a uh, is the principal's kid if I remember now. Okay, so yeah, that makes sense. Every all of her kids were valedictorians. I don't know if Junjun will be, but okay. Looking fancy today. How are we doing? Of course, it's you again. Although it's the first time you brought someone with you. I I sincerely apologize for the trouble. I hope we can resolve this ASAP. Whatever. I'm in a hurry. Come on, follow me. Okay, let's begin. Miss Mrs. Legaspi has told me everything. I have to say, what you've committed is one serious offense. <sighs> serious indeed. But it's his fault. Hold your horses, miss. You'll get a chance to speak up later. Understood. I'm sorry. Flat tire. Come again? Your sedan. I think it has a flat tire. How do you know? I just saw it earlier. And? There it was. A flat tire. So flat, you wouldn't be able to drive it. That sounds horrible. I have to get that fixed. I still don't understand what the flat tire slang is. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. Absolutely. That's it! Miss! Where are your manners? It's his fault! All his! He was blazing through the hallway without a care in the world. Mister, no running in the halls. We made that clear in the handbook, didn't we? <laughs> you guys did make it clear. Props to you for that. Four thumbs up. You, but little Missy here, was blocking the middle of the hallway. Oh, miss. I'm sorry, but you can't do that. You should have known to give way, right? Hmm. <laughs> no, but look. Isn't it clear who should be held accountable? Clear as day. If he weren't running in the first place, none of this would have happened. Same outcome if she weren't blocking the hallway. Plus, you wouldn't have annoyed a bunch of your schoolmates. Pretty sure you annoyed a bunch of them along the way, too. You just don't want to admit it. Silence! I've had enough of you, too. I'm calling your parents right now. No, please! I just transferred here. They'd be so... No! Please don't. He'll take it. He'll take the blame. Don't look at me like that, Mark. You surprise me. Mark? Well then, if you don't want me to call your parents, for the love of everything good and holy, just make up with each other. What? How? Figure it out or I'll call your parents now. I've got a mall-wide sale to catch, so make it quick. This lady has priorities, okay? You gotta do it before she runs out of time. Hmm. Okay, fine. I'll cover everything. I'll pay for the repainting of the walls and flooring. That's good. I'll get you a cool gift too. Because I love the school and I love you. <clears throat> you don't have to, but okay. And lastly... Uh... I can... I'll help her do her poster. I can pay for her art supplies. Uh, let, let's just pay. I'll pay for little Missy's new art supplies. So she can redo her poster. That sounds like a good plan then. It covers everything we'd otherwise worry about. My pleasure. But Mark, I've been hearing about your grades. Remember, you can't make up for that in any way. 
You have to study harder if you want to stay here. Yeah, I will. I'm gonna miss you guys if I leave. <laughs> so, miss, how does Mark's plan sound to you? Uh... I can take it, I guess. Alright. You two may go home now. Wait, what about schoolwork due today? Turn them in next week. Your teachers will understand. Awesome! More time to do that stupid art project. Er, I guess. Yep, sales are more important. <laughs> okay, this is my final warning. Mark, please don't run in the halls. Miss, please don't block them. Do you two understand? Understood, Mrs. Chavez. It won't happen again. Yeppers! Meeting adjourned. Be safe on the way home. Mall wide sale, here I come. <laughs> Alright, time to go. So, uh, that happened. You got away with it just like that? Just like that. Cool, eh? For the record, since you still ruined my first day, I'm totally not forgiving you. Cool. Not yet, that is. They never bothered to ask your name. So what is it? As much as I hate to introduce myself to you, I'm Nicole Laksamana. Yep, the deja vu. Uh... Uh, you can call me Nicole. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Nicole. Disgusted to meet you, Mark. <laughs> so what are we gonna do? More discussions, I guess. Disgusting! Yes. I could have used a little help back there. You carried all of that, Mark? For me? Aww. You forced me to. Oh, you. You're such a gentleman. Not a lot of gentlemen these days, you know? Why'd you even shop this much? I thought we were just gonna buy art supplies. Like, do you really need a new toothbrush holder? Uh-huh, but we buy, we buy one every week. What? The house ghost keeps stealing it. Oh. And all these plastic hooks and clothespins? Why, yes. I collect clothespins as a hobby. What kind of hobby is that? There's a sub get it for that. <laughs> Trying to make clothes uh, robots using clothespins or jet planes. I've seen those before. That uh, That's a pretty popular hobby we did back in school or when I had my younger days. And all these skirts and shirts? Really? Have you been wearing the same set of clothes every day? Ew, absolutely not. I'm not as filthy as you. And seriously, a knife set? Oh, now you're talking. I'm gonna need more than one knife if you misbehave. Let's just get this over with. What's taking you so long to open that door? You're nagging. Come in. Welcome to our humble abode. Wow, really just moved in, huh? No. Everything is still in boxes. DHL, they didn't bother sen Oh, BHL. They didn't they I thought they didn't censor that. Hanabichi. Butterfly, I don't know what that is supposed to spoof. J and F is still there, or it's probably T and F. Okay. Our new humble abode. Why, why do they have a parol? Is it Christmas? It's like around June, I think, if I recall. So that's why. We just moved in a few days ago. Still needs work, I know. Uh... Is no one else home? Ha, you wish. My parents are sleeping in the back. So you better keep it down. 
And your siblings? Well, I wish I had one. It's a hassle-free life, I'd say. No trouble, no drama, no petty arguing. Where's the fun in that? Hey, I'm gonna get changed. Stay right here and don't touch anything. We're gonna have the opportunity to move. Do touch everything, got it, yes. I knew it. Hey! Can I use the bathroom? Whatever happened to keeping it down? I was just asking. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and check. Let's see what's happening over here. Okay, and then here... Oh, it was in the box. Of course, the staple of every home. Good old pirated DVDs. <laughs> Gotta keep the collection. Micro Mind. <laughs> Let's see what flicks they've got. Micro Mind. A dumb supervillain inadvertently defeats his enemy with his inherently deplorable IQ. Bratatat. <laughs> Rem, a professional rat chef, gives up his culinary ways and commits to a savage gangster life of robbery and gang wars. Sardian to Penny. <laughs> a gay soldier fights terrorists with a fart gun. But people are going to watch this movie anyway. Boom, boom, back 14, the final amazing pow. <laughs> Starring 36 local artists all mashed up into one st star-studded film. Is this like their version of Shake, 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 Rattle, and Roll? There we go. Thank you. My goodness. That's it. Don't ask about the plot. There's none. <laughs> Damn it, Pops. My eyes. Oh, no. Spicy. They just never keep their porn stash somewhere safe, don't they? Okay, let's see what else is in here. Family growing up. Wait, she said she's alone. Who is that other girl there? Or is it probably just a friend? <clears throat> okay, and then there's probably a chance to go upstairs, I think. Probably not. Stuffed toys. Oh, I used to love this toy as a kid. Nerds will be like center of ass or whatever. But really, this is magic to my eyes. Hmm. Okay, let's see. What else have we got? Can we go upstairs? Wait. Okay. Yep, it's just them. No problem. And looking through the pictures. I'm afraid we didn't hire a housemaid. <gasps> hey. Oh my. Do we have a scaredy cat here? Don't tell me you wouldn't jump too. If someone just appeared out of thin air. I would, but... Your face would just make me burst out laughing. Anyway, we're painting here, right? Of course. You think we're doing this in my room? Don't get any funny ideas. Oh, I'm not that low. The only funny idea I'm having is painting circles on your face. Oh well, we're going in circles. Let's just start, shall we? I kind of want to put the knife set beside me. You know, for self-defense. Do you mind? If I can have half the knives to protect myself as well, then not at all. <laughs> Good. Let's begin then. How about you go first? That's inefficient, don't you think? How about we just paint together? I want to see your potential. Impress me. Heck, maybe you'd even inspire me. I'm all, all I'm hearing is, I want to boss you around coated in sugar. Haha, <laughs> no really. Let's see what you've got. Okay. Let's 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 give the answer he probably might say. 
Prepare to be amazed. Prepare to be amazed. <laughs> this is a master at work. Okay. Mouse here. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, we're gonna Bob Ross this, baby. Let's go. Mm. No, wait. No. Okay, wait. I'll show you. I'll show you that I have potential. Yes. Okay, and then we go. No, oh, this way. Got it. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, next. We go over here. I'll show you. We're going to take this away over here to the left. And he's coming up down. And he's going down into the center. Where will Sergey go over here following the lions? Will we follow his heart? Let's see what we could do. Yes. Uh, what are you doing? Painting? In black? What's wrong about that? But the theme's Mother Earth. I know. Climate change, environment, or whatever. So why does it look like you're painting nonsense? Hey, watch your words. This is avant-garde at its peak. And if you know our teacher well, she gets off on weird art. Exploiting her pretentious taste with pretentiousness. Hmm, I see. I had that epiphany back when I was running my ass off in the halls. <laughs> I never thought to ask. Why were you running in the first place? I had about seven minutes to cram this shit. <laughs> I rushed to the store, but there you were. Majestically blocking the way. Say what? Seven minutes? That shouldn't come as a surprise from me. Oh, that's right. We just met. It wasn't your first time at the principal's office, was it? Oh, it was. I just happened to flawlessly operate the coffee maker by accident. Lucky me. Crazy. You weren't fearing for your life one bit. I was scared to death. Why would I? If they wanted to get rid of me, they would have. Okay, now we're gonna paint a little bit more over here. What's gonna be happening over here? Yes. Put a little blue over here. Yes. The tears of Mother Earth crying. Yes, I can see it now. The vision is coming to me. I... I don't get it. Ah, yes. A brilliant representation of oil spills destroying our lovely oceans. I can already see Flores' eyes sparkling. Hold on. I don't get it. Why do you live like this? Why? Shut up. I need to concentrate. I'm channeling my inner Pollock. I mean, are there even any upsides? Ask our classmate Kyle. He crams way more than I do. He's the true expert. You know what? I suggest that could definitely use more effort. I suggest not spending my precious effort on this. Could also use more color. You know what I mean? I have no time for your color theory bullcrap. <laughs> you don't need to know color theory. You just have to, you know, let it shine. We didn't buy glossy paint. I mean, are you seriously okay with this? Settling for this Pollock ripoff? Digi says, Sergey it. Yes. <laughs> Slap all the paint on it. That's what we would do. Get it all Sergeyed up. Look, all I need to do is get the job done. With the least possible effort. But do you even find enjoyment in it? Nope. Of course not. Not that it matters, right? Hmm. Whoa. Hey! 
Watch. I'll show you how it's done. Oh, great. Someone's doing the dirty work for me. Thank you so much. Hey, look at me. Fine, fine. We can still turn this pitiful artwork into a lively one. Just you wait and see. Hooray. I think it needs more color. Okay. A dash of white. A splash of red. A drop of blue. Together. With all your powers combined. <laughs> it is Captain Planet. <laughs> Do you see it? It's coming together now. Whoa. It's much better now, right? I don't like saying this to your face, but... It is. You see, Mark, I just enjoy the things I do. And whenever I find that enjoyment, everything else naturally shines. She's probably right. Hmm? Everything shines. Wow, okay. <laughs> Epiphany. You just have to find that spark. You're crazy. I like to think I am. Okay, yes. Oh! A plane crash. A storm. Okay, airplane. Piano coming in. The memories are coming back. Getting there. Alright. Uh, are you done? Just a little bit more. Hey, that's enough. You've already helped. And done. <laughs> that's <laughs> classic. All you need are the ha the people holding hands, the dove with the olive branch, and you're done. Why the long face now? Don't get me wrong, it's nice and all, but I really wanted to illustrate climate change. That sounds kind of bleak, doesn't it? I don't know. I guess it's realistic and down to earth. Really? Hey, that's mine! Plus, my work shouldn't look that good. Flores knows that. Then just switch it up! She won't catch it. Even if I do, it doesn't feel like it's mine. <clears throat> Sprinkle your personal finesse then. Add your own touch. That's not gonna work. Dang. He didn't really good get through to him, did he? Wait a minute. I know what it's missing. There's nothing missing. I'll make the stars bigger. <clears throat> Maybe even cuter. Go ahead. It's yours after all. To be clear, this is yours and that is mine. Just give me a moment to perfect this. Better now. Look! Awesome. It deserves to be yours. No, you deserve this. Hold on, I'll give it more stars. Yes, more stars. More! We need to put more constellations there, yes. Oh, wow, we're getting complicated lines here. Okay. And we go down into the tunnel right here, and we go, Sir J, can he go ahead and make this turn? Eee! Going in for the U-turn. And... Pop. Shit. <laughs> All right, all right, let's get, go ahead and be serious. Come on, Sir Jay. We're going to be here all the morning. Let's go. And nice. Here it is. Hmm? What is it? And nothing. It's all boring and dark. You're right. This is mine. Don't mention it. And don't worry. I won't need half of the knives. I wish I could stab you. 
That'd be an honor. I wonder. What's living here like? Brace yourself. Everything's unique here at Liamson. They've got exotic tentacles for Christmas. And wrestling mechas for New Year's. Quite a culture shocker. I wish that were the case, but I was asking nicely. Same old, same old. You're still in the dreary heart of the capital. Do you have siblings? We're both only children. And you think it's hassle free? Did I stutter? And your parents? What do they do for a living? Unlike yours, neither of them, of them are talk show hosts. What if I told you I want to be one someday? And drown people in your hollow questions? Good luck. So what do they do for a living? Since you won't shut up, what if I told you I live all alone? What? It's true. Both of them work abroad. Pays good. Well, too good they don't want to stop working. What do you mean? Hmm. <laughs> That's sick! Pollock, look at this! You must be so proud of me right now. I get that they're both overseas workers. But what do they do? Oh boy, would you look at that! Oh, he's dodging the subject. The sun's setting. Guess I should be going now. Is your dad like an engineer or something? He repairs giant wrestling mechas, you annoying talk show host. Hey, where's the bathroom? Sadly, a wrestling mecha ripped it apart yesterday. You'll have to pee outside. I'll try my luck then. <laughs> try not getting sucked in, snub. My goodness. All right, let's go. Okay, that's in there. That's a room. Okay. Oh, we're blocked. Let's go inside the room first and see. Whoa! Does anyone in her family play? Oh, what's this? Chrysler. Violin and piano number one. I can't believe it. Gold medals. Awards, okay, and a broken... Oh, this looks very old. Wow, those trophies are hers. Uh, go settle in, kid. Start playing. <clears throat> She's a pianist? Oh boy, since when? Play your song, kid. Feel the pride. Oh, got caught. Excuse me? What are you doing here? I didn't know you could play. Oh, hello. Aki Raid. Hello, FC ZNL. Okay, back to lurking. Thanks for stopping by, ZNL. Enjoy your lurk. Shut up and get out of here. Now. You see, I've been trying my best at this, but it just isn't working. Maybe you could be my mentor. Who knows? You might make a great team. I'm not even kidding. I do not care and I'm not kidding either. Get the hell out of here now! Oh shit, did I just strike a nerve? But hey, no ifs, no buts. Just get out. Oh. Okay. Alright. But I didn't mean to. Let's pick that. But I didn't mean to. Get out of this house at once! Okay. Alright, you tried, kid. Just when I thought you were a decent guy, you were trespassing personal spaces. 
Who told you you could just go anywhere you like? I... Uh, let's pick... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know what? I don't want anything to do with you. Please, just go ahead and leave. But... I said... Go ahead and leave! Okay. Honey, you woke us up. What's going on here? Nothing, Mom. It was just a... A rat. A big one. Had to shoo that nasty critter away. Hi, Mrs. Laksamana. How was first day at school? It must have been wonderful. Uh... <laughs> Seeing that you already got yourself a friend here. Well, uh... He's not my friend. <laughs> it's a bit complicated, actually. He's more like a... Transferee advisor of sorts. Transferee advisor? Never heard of that before. Is that a thing now? Apparently. They usually wear a shiny badge, but it seems like he forgot to put it on. What? Ahem. Isn't that correct, my advisor? Yeah. Oh, she's right, Miss Laksamana. I'm a student rep who get guides new students. Glad to meet you. See? Told ya. Not a friend, hee <laughs> hee. I don't see the difference, honey. I can't see why you two won't be good friends. <laughs> uh, I guess? I think so, too! I... See, hun? And he's a looker, too! Uh... Anyway... My advisor's gotta go home. Gee, he's gonna be invited to stay. Right, my noble advisor? Yeah. I just came here to, uh... Help her with a project. And give her some, uh... Epic school tips! What? Oh, sorry, are you in a hurry, dear? Strict parents? Yeah! He's so in a hurry. He told me he has to... I don't think so. Oh, come on. Not much to do back home, really. Dang it! Great! He's staying for dinner. Yes, say would you care to join us for a dinner tonight? I'll cook Nicole's favorite pork seasick. Dang! We partying over here! <laughs> I bet you'll love it. Um... Oh dear, where are my manners? What's your name? His name's Mark. Just so you know, he has a pork allergy. So, Mark, care to join us for dinner? Uh... Sure? <laughs> Let's do it. More scenes. Why not? I love Seasig. Alright. Sorry for the mess, Mark. We've just moved in, but please make yourself at home. <laughs> she is... She, Nicole is absolutely livid. Thank you, Mom. Uh, I mean, Mrs. Laksamana. Sorry. You could say I'm your mother for the night. <laughs> Great. I'll be in the kitchen if anyone needs me. How the tables have turned. Honey, would you please make our guest feel comfortable? Ha! You bet! I sure will! Thanks, hon! <laughs> hey, sis. Shut up. <laughs> Denied! Wow. <laughs> Happy family dinner. My goodness. 
loving parents, and then really glum sibling. <laughs> Let's go, we eating good over here, free food. <laughs> she is not pleased at all, my goodness. Oh, we got, we got a spill, our nar. Uh-oh, what are you gonna do, Mark? You're gonna mop it up? Are you gonna do something good and clean it up, make it up? Ah, well. <laughs> They're just having fun. All good over here. He looks so down. He's probably jealous of the parents, my goodness. Yeah. Time to go, I see. Oh, they even have the running horse painting. <laughs> Time to go, ma. See ya, see ya. Classic Filipino table. MCR, what do they got? <clears throat> What's up? <clears throat> Nobody's talking. Oh, there we go. Ho ho, hey Nicole, what's up? How was your stay at the principal's dungeon? You know, nothing new. Except for the fact I was with that troublesome girl. Troublesome? Yeah, because you started the trouble, airhead. She kind of gets under my skin, too. Hmm. So what's she like? Do you think she belongs with me? <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> she attacks with sharp words, too. Keep out unless you want your dignity robbed. Oh no, not again. But but since you've already made the first move anyways, go ahead. I don't care now. As if you can even call it a move. Think about it, man. You crashed into her so bad. Do you have any inkling of what that means? Newton's third law? No, you sham nerd! <clears throat> there was a love cupid at work locking your destiny into place. The moment you ran into her, boom, your heart's magically entwined. Wow, that's cool. I know, right? My boy's finally gonna experience the joys of young love. Young love, my ass. She was still mad at me the moment I left. What? What do you mean you left? From where? Uh-oh. We did our art project at little Missy's home. <clears throat> oh. My. God. <laughs> <clears throat> did you just get a girlfriend and climb up the ladder? All in one day? <laughs> I don't know what you mean by climbing up the ladder, but nah. Like hell we'd get along. Damn it. I was just about to have your congratulatory poster printed. Well, guess I'll have to wait some more. What? This should have been a surprise, but eh, who cares? Congratulations, Mark, for embarking on a new journey in your pre in your pubescent love life. Dang, they even got the the clouds and then the doves and everything. Dang, classic Facebook, fi classic Philippine Facebook memes. My goodness, what the? Why does it look like I died? That's the joke. Who the heck did this? Yours truly. You sure have lots of time on your hands, huh? What's the fun in having lots of time if I can't spend it with Kate? Ah, uh, she could have been the one. Is it because... Because of what? I'm a flat tire? I doubt it. It's not like you're boring, right? Uh... What? What? Oh man. Do you think that's what it really think that's what it means? Uh yeah, it's like a bland person. Is it? What does it Are you kid right? 
Now, what does it mean? <clears throat> oh, she's taking her time. Uh, it actually means... What does it mean? Forget it! <laughs> Gotta go sleep now, I have to go research this. Uh, okay. Hey. Yeah? Yes. She's taking her time. Very suspicious. Yes? I'm kind of surprised you started this convo, the convo this time. Weird saying that, lol. Anyway. Don't you dare forget about our trip, okay? He forgot. What trip? I knew it. There we go. Ah, the one I've been pushing you and Riddell for. Oh, right, the trip at the fair. <sighs> yeah, you airhead. Just so we can have some fun before, you know, before R Riddell leaves for shooting. What happens if I don't go? <clears throat> I'm not asking for your confirmation. I'm coercing you, my lowly subordinate. Okay, okay, I'll go. Good boy! See you then. Good night. Wait, let's see. Did he actually start the conversation? Oh, he did. Yes. Hey, Mark. Yes. Hey, I'm so sorry for the ruckus back there. Ah, that's none of my concern. But I know you can do better. You deserve adequate sleep as well. Yeah, sorry. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, Mrs. Flores asked me to inform you that you may submit your work on Monday. Yep, Mrs. Chavez also told me. Thanks. Also, Sophia told me she wants you to come over with me at the hospital. Only if you're free, of course. Are we visiting her grandma? Yes. I'm certain she mostly wants new company. She must be getting sick of mine. <laughs> I doubt that, haha, <laughs> but sure. I'd be happy to come over. Alright then. I be She'd be glad to see you there too. Hey. Uh, Luis? Yes? Any new findings on the, you know... On the what? Oh, on the on the incidents. Okay, I do. What's happening? And actually, I was hoping we'd talk about it in private once we meet. Gotcha, I'll come over then. Okay then. See you. It's a Friday night for crying out loud. Stupid phone games aren't cutting it. What should I do? Dang, okay. Staying up. Alright, there's the trash. Dang, hasn't been wa taken out. Good idea. Before those tiny little worms take over again. <clears throat> Clean up your rooms, peeps. There we go. Okay, what else have we got here? You know, for, for a kid who's living alone, he's got a very spacious house. But then again, it's probably belonging to his family before. That's but before he was left alone. Okay, going up. He's still got the watermelon umbrella from the convenience store. Nice. Okay, what's in here? Oh, wait. Let's just take a look here. Watch TV. Seriously? Sleeping already on a Friday? Okay, nope, that's his room. Wow, this is Pop Music 68. <laughs> nice. We st I still remember all these compilations from when the when we used to have like more CD stores. This brings back memories. Kath gave me this for my birthday. Like, come on, Kath. You know I don't listen to normie music. Tower Records, yes, that's the one. I think the one in SM had like a different name. Is it like Astro Vision or something like that? I'm trying to remember. What is this envelope doing here? 
Whoa, I remember now. Time Dome. <laughs> Riddell got an instant camera as a birthday gift. It became our little toy at the mall for a day. He didn't like it at first, but look where he's at now. Dang, the Time Dome. Movie time, yes. Eating cotton candy, yes. <laughs> inasar, mang inasar, and gagu. <laughs> Gold Rush, oh god, I hate those arcade games. And then, oh my gosh, when they got the jackpot with all the tickets. Ar nar! We have to give actually give away the big prize. Then having to be chased away, goodness gracious, from the bowling alley. Ar nar. Then the grocery Oh, what happened at the grocery store? Why are the tomatoes? Oh no, is this like a joke? Is this like a joke from all those pirated movie things? Like Bari! Bullisuckle! <laughs> And the and the tomatoes falling on the ground, goodness gracious. And then the tickets are there, my goodness. Until then, love Kathy. How did this thing even get here? That's a good question. Watch TV. What's what's in here? Global bull <laughs> Nasawa. My goodness. Gotta head out and pay for these tomorrow. Very exciting. Oh yeah, it's 2014. They didn't really have like super advanced payment yet. Like, like cell phone online. That much. Dan sent me this a year after they started working abroad. He joked they'd finally come home once I finished this. Well, I don't think he was kidding. <clears throat> I don't feel like watching TV. Let's go check out the top floor. The upper floor. Oh, wait. Oh, this is the only floors. Okay, let's get back up there. It, they should have had like a down arrow. I thought it was something else. Okay. Let's go watch TV then. Sure, why not? Let's watch local TV, just like everyone else with internet totally does. Mm. Channel 3. It's almost midnight indeed. Wow, Persona 4. <laughs> the Midnight Channel. Coming up tomorrow on... The Two Mistresses and possibly one more as a cheap plot twist. No, Marites, he's mine. He's always been mine. How dare you. You only love him because he's a walking money bag. You want war? I'll give you war. Welcome to your favorite late night show. Tonight, starring Boy Profusio. <laughs> as you may have heard, today is a very special day. Known as the rising star from Xiargao. Please welcome Paolo Curipot. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me here, Boy Profusio. Alamo boy. <laughs> We're so glad to have you here, Paolo. So tell me, Paolo. And you know this is what the audience wants to finally hear. What do your parents do for a living? <laughs> Get lost. Hey, come back here. What? Where'd you go? <clears throat> I don't know, sir. Damn it, we lost him. This is Alto Broadcasting Network Channel 7. <laughs> ABS GMA. Now signing off. I don't think I'll resort to TV ever again. Better try something else. AV1. Or oh, time to play games. PS3 time. Oh yeah, it's 2014. Yeah. <clears throat> Just a bunch of games on sale I impulsively bought, but never bothered to touch. Okay. We're playing this, I guess. Dang. They got the class, like the Leps World thing, my goodness. Never thought I would see a reference like this. 
Is there an achievement for getting this? You can't jump on the boxes. Okay, so let's just move. There's probably an achievement for that, for getting that chest up there, but oh well. <coughs> Game over. What? Into the trash folder you go. Oh, this one looks cute. <laughs> they got the literature club. Welcome to the club, Aerie. It's nice meeting you. I love sucking lemons. What? They got really got Natsuki here, but she's blonde. <laughs> Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ichika. <laughs> From Monica to Ichika. Airy is supposed to be Yuri. Okay, got it. I got it. Ah, you must be. I love sucking lemons. What a nice surprise. Welcome to Kokoro Literature Club. <laughs> there are no words. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. This seems fun. I can take this. If I had to choose now, I'd probably date Airy. Good choice, my friend. Yes, very cultured. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's scared. Oh, shit! Oh my god, that's it, I'm out of here! Oh, wow. Scary, scary. Nice game. Heroes list. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about, baby. I just gotta win a couple matches and I'll level up again. That'll get me going for sure. And he's gonna be staying up all night. Level up, 46. Yeah. Feeling proud of yourself, aren't you, Marky, my boy? But he feels, looks so empty. Oh, no. Nicole's words getting to you, huh? It's an empty life. Forget it. Maybe talking to random strangers will work. Anonymous. Welcome to Anon Chat. You're now chatting with a random stranger. That's scary. Hello, ASL. What is ASL? What? Oh, <laughs> okay. 15M redacted. <laughs> Stranger has disconnected. Yeah. What the? Okay. Let's see. Hey, ya, uh, ASL. 15M Bonifa. No. Valley, no. No. Bellica. Lol. <laughs> Why the hell am I getting rejected? Well. Oh, I get it. <laughs> this one's gonna talk. <laughs> Should we lie? Okay, let's 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 do it. Just for just to see. Okay. 20F Bellica. Hey there. <laughs> hmm, just as I thought. Hey there, babe. <laughs> what you doing? Bored alone at home. Okay. Oh, nothing. I'm just bored alone at home. I could use a little help. Wow, okay. Sure, babe. <laughs> What can I help you with? Well, I'm a simple woman with simple desires. Dang. What is it, babe? Come closer. Sheesh. I'm coming closer. I'm whispering it in your ear. Can you feel me beside you? Yeah, baby. You want to know what I desire? <clears throat> Tell me, babe. <laughs> Your card number. 
expiry date and the three digits at the back. Let's go. Stranger has disconnected. Not today, man. Not today. <laughs> Almost had it. Hey there. Uh, aren't you gonna a ask ASL? It doesn't matter. It shouldn't. Why? Does it matter to you? No, no, it's my first time in here, and it seems like the norm. <clears throat> For the horny guys, yes, it is the norm. Figures. But I just want a real, genuine talk with a real person, you know? Sure, I'm up for that. Got nothing else to do anyways. Awesome. Do you mind miss listening to my monologue? It won't be long. Well, probably. I just want to vent my feelings out here. It's Nicole. It has to be Nicole. Okay, or someone else that we know in the cast. Okay. No, not at all. Go ahead. I don't have much friends to talk to. And even if I do talk to them... <clears throat> I can't help but feel guilty draining them with my personal shit. That sucks. It's comforting to know random people can listen, listen to my problems. And really, that's all you have to do. Listen. I'm all ears. <clears throat> you see... I've always been dreaming of accomplishing this one thing in my life. And a year ago, after persevering through it all, I did it. I finally did it. Sounds great. <clears throat> so I thought that was it. I achieved my life goal. I thought I was going to be happy and complete. But after several months... I realized I was wrong. What happened? Call me crazy or whatever, but... Nothing happened. It was just time that kept pushing through. And I just woke up one day. Without any drive. Go on. It's weird, I don't know why. They told me I should be setting higher goals. But I just can't do it now that, you know. Sorry, I kind of don't understand. It's okay. Maybe there's just really no understanding to be sought in feeling lost. Maybe I just happen to float in this futile void. I don't know. You might be... Re Maybe. So now I'm stuck nowhere. And I don't know where to go. Say, have you ever felt like this? Every single day. I might be. Yes? Honestly, I don't know. <clears throat> if not, then good for you. Don't take it for granted. It's okay if you didn't understand me. I'm just glad you listened. Have you tried finding a hobby? Yeah, I have. A long time ago. And then it became my job. <laughs> no, I mean a new one. <clears throat> I tried things here and there, but... Something invisible keeps me keeps stopping me from enjoying anything. Have you tried therapy? <clears throat> oh, taking time, I see. Oh, I wasn't even kidding. Dang, pity. Welcome to Anon Chat. Wow, another one. Okay, ASL nineteen F Uranus Manzanero. <laughs> Do you like the Smiths? Uh, the Smiths what? Stranger has disconnected. <laughs> That's it. I give up. People are boring. Looks like I've tried everything. Nothing catches my attention today for some reason. Not even games, for God's sake. I... I have no idea. 
Whatever. I should just sleep this off. Okay, kid, time to go to bed. <clears throat> okay, and then we should go over here, all the way over here. Right, I left the sheet music here. Bach. I wish I could read these and understand every detail like mom does. Actually, you know what? A little practice might get me going. Time to play the piano. Make it sing, Mark. Make it sing. The memories still won't work. Negative. Have you tried turning it off and on? There we go. Oh, it was just muted. <laughs> Mark with that streamer life. Mark has a future as a streamer. Already got the scuffed, muted microphone um, equipment, I mean. Haha, dum-dum. Where'd you get that from, anyway? I never knew you had a piano. Let alone interest in music. No. This is mom's. Oh, that's cool. Does she play? As a hobby, yeah, she used to. She'd always do classical when I was a kid. What happened? Why'd you stop? I guess we could say number three? It just got too busy, I guess. Maybe that's why I want to give it a shot. Give it a shot? Do you even know how to play anything? No. But... Maybe one day... Go for it, kid. Make it sing. That's not how it goes. The haunting melody. Perhaps that's mom. <clears throat> oh. Try to remember, Mark. Remember who you are. Please. Oh, that's pretty good. Sounds good. She's such a talented, lovely kid. Do you like it? I don't like it, Mom. I love it. I wish I could see her again. See who? Your sister. Mark, is this a good time to talk? Anytime's a good time to talk. This won't be easy for me to say, but... You see... Oh, it's muted. Oh no, the revelation is too much. What's the secret, Mark? Oh, no. We won't be finding out anytime soon, I guess. Wiping the family photo again, huh? If only we know what it contained. I wish you could listen to a song for the first time again.
Sorry, it's not pausing. I wish I could live a moment for the first time again. Oh no, parents were fighting. Then they had to leave. It's like I felt everything there is to feel. Kid learned how to live by himself. Dang. Things were different back then. Time has passed. It's like there's nothing else to wait for. <clears throat> what else is there to live for? Very, very sad. But maybe... Wow, okay. <laughs> Family life, my goodness. Just maybe. Just maybe. Bringing back memories already, huh? Happy family life. If only he could have that again. Sad kid. Pity. I can feel alive again. Oh. Please tell me that's the end of chapter two. Oh, thank goodness. Yes, chapter three now. Hey there, humans. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to see more videos like this one.